Looking for another damn, looking for another way of running back to you. Always on my What's up everybody, welcome back to another tutorial on the Savage channel. Today we're going to be breaking down how I made this effect you see on screen right here in my last montage. So let's get right into it. So since you guys loved the last tutorial uh, about the Tommy in it, I decided to make another tutorial for this effect. So you want to make it about this long, just like that. Just like that, right there. You want to... Because you want to add the reverse part too, so you just cut it. I already imported my song and all that. You, the the song and clip will be in the description. But anyway, um, let's just get to the tutorial. So, right here we got the marker, which is where the beat drop is. And right here, you want to press your keyboard, the arrow key, five times. The left arrow key, five times. One, two, three, four five that's done so now you add another marker here you split this and then go to this marker and split that now you have this right here you want to go to fast and four and make this four times just like that and then it's very slight because the clip is so short and then right here you want to make this S slow by 0.5 and you also want to mute the clip too so this is how you this is what you have so it's like nothing much if you guys are happy with this do whatever you want but i'm just teaching you how to do this so now um so when you get here you want to grab this effect i have it in my favorites if you go to downloads you search up ash right here you press enter it'll be right here ash you drag that in so just like that right before the kill you want to cut it right before the kill right here cut it right here and right here where it like fades in this so this is how you do the fading so you keep pressing your right arrow key and make 10 cuts so one frame cut one frame cut one frame cut now we only have seven here so we're gonna we're gonna make this we're gonna make this a bit bigger and add a bit more we go one frame cut one frame cut one frame cut one two three four five six seven eight nine then ten and then you delete that you go right what is happening so you you copy all of these put it right here before the kill so now for the fading in effect you want to grab you want to double click on these or just click on it and for each one going up you want to keep uh, uh you want to add it by 10 so for the first one is 10 the second one is 20 the third one is 30 and so on for for each one and that's that that's the fading in part so that's done now you want the shaking and the effects so the shaking and the extreme so we're here i have extreme and chaos 2 both of my favorites but all you have to do is go to download and search it up again search up extreme you grab that and then you go again search chaos 2 and you'll have that and now this is you got to follow my steps my steps only so you grab the extreme and you put it right here. Like so we'll put the, the chaos on the side and we make this only about two frames long, two or three frames long. I like two frames, but the shake is not good. So I'll show you some steps on which ones to put here. The settings you want to put on the extreme shake are these. So for the frequency, you put 20, 
Then for position X, you put zero. And for position Y, you put 0 0.20. 0 0.20. And then you keep the... All right, so these are the settings you wanna put for the Chaos 2. I forgot to record it, but these are the settings. So the frequency is 8.28. The position X is zero. The position Y is 0 0.04. And the position Z is 12.41. You want to keep this for the whole clip. You want to keep this for the whole clip. All right, now for the shockwave effect. This uh, this effect will be in the description. It will be in the same Google Drive link. So when you've imported it, you add it to here, and it's quite slow. You wanna you wanna right click it. And you want to go to speed and duration right here click that and put this to six so you click on it and you press comp compositioning you'll see blending mode is normal you want to keep it to screen and now you want to duplicate it three times so it looks the best Alrighty. So now you want to grab the square blur effect. You go to downloads and search up square blur like usual. Anyways, now you want to make 10 frames again. So let's just do that. All right, so now that I've made 10 frames of it, you want to do the opposite of the ash and make, make it go from 100 to 10. That's already on 100. So now you make it this to 90, 80, and so on. I'm gonna do the rest. And bam, just like that, you have your blur effect. All right, now for the last effect. effect. Let's grab the gray effect. I know that sounds weird, but this is how I usually do my things. So you want to go to composting again, make this to color dodge and it's very bright. So you want to make it 60% like that. Now we want to do the reverse re effect. It's not an effect. It's just a copy and pasting this clip and reversing it. So you copy and paste this. I like to make it on normal so it's faster and then you reverse it, but I extend this to this. Once again, all these sound effects will be linked in the description. Now for this, we need four sound effects. The spaz pullout, which is the pump pullout. Then we also need the shield damage break. And then the swoosh and the edit pump sound. So let's add the pump sound because that's what we mainly need. So it is lined up. So now you want to grab the old shield damage breaking sound effect so you want to trim it to where it's about like one frame so it's like aligned up like this and you don't want these other so you just go here and split it you want to make this a bit less loud because you don't want to make this the loudest effect and what i like to do is add a swoosh for like a bit of a nice feeling and then add the, the pump pull out right before. So this guy starts pulling it out right here. So I'll make it like this. So yeah, that's how you make a cool effect in Filmora 9. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and share this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.